Hi, my name is Thomas and I'm working for Metros. Excellent. Today, I would like to explain you how to test a valve with gas underwater. In some particular cases, it is forbidden to use water as test liquid. So in this reason, Metros has developed underwater test benches, such as, for example, here, our CSV 10 150. 10 means we have a maximum clamping force of 10 tons. 150 means we can use this test bench for a working range from the 15 up to 150 or half to 6 inch. What is the reason to perform a gas test underwater? If you would like to recognize a leakage and you're going to compress air or any other kind of gas in the valve body, due to the compression, you won't see a pressure drop if there's a leakage in the body. If you're going to use water to perform the shell test, water can't be compressed and a leakage would be recognized immediately on the gauge due to a pressure drop. If I'm using now a gas test on the clamping station and I lower the clamping under the water level, I can see due upcoming bubbles immediately if there is a leakage in the shell. The clamping of the valve will be realized with our so-called automatic sealing heads. These sealing heads will increase proportional to the test pressure, the clamping force automatically. With the hand wheel, we are going to adjust the clamping length and ensure the first touch sealing without any pressure. With two hand operated push buttons, I can lower now the clamping underneath the water level. This will secure that the operator will not put one of his hands into the clamping area by accident while lowering. With the needle valve on the control panel, I can control now the test pressure getting into the valve for the shell test. The warning lamps on the top of the control panel show me now that the entire valve body is under pressure and due to a safety interlock system, I can't move anymore the valve clamping up or down. In case there's a leakage in the ceiling area on the valve body, you can identify immediately due to upcoming bubbles where this leakage is located. In such a case, you can release the test pressure. Going up with the clamping table, Retighten the bolts. Lower the clamping area. And get test pressure into the valve once again. If the problem is solved, no bubbles are visible anymore. The CSV10-150 allows me also to perform a bidirectional seat leakage test. What does it mean? I can choose if I would like to pressurize the valve from the left-hand side to the right or from the right-hand side to the left. Accordingly, I can always see on the warning lamp which side is pressurized and on the other side, we will measure if there's a leakage with a bubble counter. Same thing from the B side to the A side and the bubble counter on the other hand side. If I would like to perform now such a seat leakage test, I will need to close the test valve first, firmly, then I'm going to switch over here on the test bench from shell test to seat leakage test. I choose if I would like to test first from A to B or from B to A, means now I'm choosing A from the left hand to the right hand side. 
and switch on the low pressure air for testing the seat leakage. If you want to perform the seat leakage test with low pressure air, you can adjust the wanted pressure with the pressure regulator underneath the switch where I switched on or off the seat leakage test. Due to the signal lamp, I can see now only one lamp is turned on, means now I've pressurized the left hand side and we are checking on the right hand side with the bubble counter if there is a seat leakage. No bubbles coming up means the seat is perfectly sealing. If I would like to do now the same from the other side, I switch off the low pressure air, pressure is released. I can turn over now from B to A, switch on once again the low pressure. Now I have also the five bar from the right hand side to the left hand side. But also here, no visual leakage in the bubble counter. If there is a leakage, it will be indicated by the according bubble counter on each side. To protect the clamping table, the entire unit is made in stainless steel or other non-corroding materials. Lights in the water tank will help you to identify possible leakages. The open frame design allows you to have an easy access for loading bigger or heavier valves with the crane. A printed and galvanized aluminium front panel ensures you with a very long time visibility of all control elements. The Metrus gauge quick connectors allow you a very easy and simple gauge change without tools. A second parallel connector allows you to connect an additional gauge for calibration purpose, for example, or even so a pressure sensor. I hope this video was interesting for you. In case of any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Your comments are most welcome. And please remember, this video is not replacing the manual of the machine. It's not a training video. And respect at any time the safety regulation in your area. Please stay safe over and out. Excellent.